All right, guys, I am back for a quick little decorate on these little guys here um, so we can get this Valentine's Day project finished up. And then I think I have like one or two more things that I want to do. Um, but I've got a couple other things I got to film before I get started on the other ones. So, right? Or should we just roll right into the other one? Hmm. I don't know. Anyhow, um, I made these little notepads that we're going to put in these guys, but I at least wanted to get um, kind of the fronts finished up a little bit. And I don't think that I'm going to go crazy because I think I actually might try to put, excuse me, um, put these little guys in the mail. Hmm. Sorry. You know, it's, I know this video is probably going to be posted pretty late today, um, but... I have been doing um, some interesting things. A lot of you that have been with me for a long time know that I am a 4-H leader. I'm also, um, now they call us key leaders. Um, and then there's another position called a superintendent. Um, so let me explain to you what all that means because, yeah... It's a little confusing to me. So before, it would just be like a superintendent is somebody that, um, and I am using my hot glue this time too, um, just for speed and via camera. Um, so anyways, what the superintendent role was is that you would go through the season, the 4-H season, and you would teach the kids their project. And then you would go to fair with them and you would basically run the project at fair. And then, um, then you would, um, yeah, just help general in general with, um, just project needs, um, on a, on a heavier level than say, um, like, like a parent, I don't want to say, um, like you would assist like the parents and the club leaders, um, with anything that they would need for the kids or their projects or like, um, a lot of times I feel like questions on, you know, what kind of food to give them or, you know, what kind of cage is suitable. And, um, we do like training for the kids, um, especially like the new kids that don't know what they're doing. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much the role. And then, like I said, I, I, um, when we can have in-person um, events, then, you know, like I said, I help educate. And so it's kind of like an all over thing. Well, our county is starting to model the county after a lot of other counties. And they went to where um, the education part and the, um, sorry, I'm just putting, I should probably tell you what I'm doing huh? as I'm doing it. I am just putting um, a little bit of frill in there to add just a little bit of shabby chicness in there. Um, just a little bit of um, character, if you will. Um, so this year they're doing it different. And instead of like the training and the superintendent stuff, like going hand in hand, they have divided it out to where it's really like two separate jobs. Like there's the education portion and then there is the, um, uh, oh, what, what was it? What do I want to say? And then there is the, um, fair portion. So it w won't necessarily be the same. And you know what? I think I didn't show you the whole kit, but don't worry. In February, we're going to be using the entire kit in a little journal, um, so no worries, guys. So these are just the pages that I've chosen to use in these two little things. Um, and I have another stack that is already almost cut. Boy, I am a mess, guys. It literally has probably been a week since I've been back here. Um, anyway, so where was I? Oh, there they are. There it is. Okay, so here's some littler pockets that I'm going to use with this. I had started cutting them out and didn't finish right away. Um, so yeah, anyhow, um, I had to interview basically for both positions. Um, 
so um, part of the interviews were last week. And then today, um, I didn't interview for my position, but I um, helped interview for um, somebody who is going to be like a paid position within the county. So, yeah, we interviewed them. Um, a bunch of us, like, were on a panel. I just kept thinking that maybe that might be a little intimidating. I mean, I would assume so. Um, so, yeah, that was all morning this morning, but there was quite a bit of prep work that went into, you know, all of that. So, yeah, they all did really well. There were two from out of state um, applying for these positions. And, yeah, so it's just been kind of crazy that way. And it, a lot of you know, um, I work in my dad's trucking company and so I'm the bookkeeper there and I literally do just about everything for and with the business, um, accounts payable, receivable, um, payroll, you name it, you name it, I do it. And, um, that includes like getting the stuff ready for the accountant every year. And, um, for a while I was doing like taxes for um, like people like tax returns. Um, but last year I kind of decided it really just wasn't for me. Really just wasn't my, my thing. So I think I'm going to put this one going this direction to where you kind of see it, but then you kind of don't, right? Just a little bit of peeking. Yeah. I think that looks cute. Um, so yeah. Uh, oh, snap. Okay, that doesn't usually happen. Apparently my pin is stuck. I wasn't even paying attention. Anyways, yeah. Um, so, and it's generally pretty busy this time of year for me anyways. So, um, just with all those things. But in the good news department, I am just about done with both. Um, at least for the month. So, yeah, I just feel like I'm running a little bit behind just a tad, but all right, let's try that again, huh? Okay. And I'm not going to put anything in these pockets yet. I'll let those dry out just a little bit. Okay. And then I do want one of these pockets because I think they'll fit beautifully there. I think I want this one. And then we're going to build build some tags. So I have been thinking long and hard about something and was wondering if you guys had an opinion. Um, I know that there's several people doing um, Rachel at Roxy Creations tag challenge. I think I'd really like to do it in the, um, in the spirit of getting, um, like a bunch of tags made, you know, I think, I think that would be super cool. So I don't know, are you guys at home doing them? Um, cause I was thinking like 25 tags in one setting would be pretty cool. I would be super excited for that. And using a book page. I think that's brilliant. That would be a good use of time, I think. So I know we have the colossal tomb going too, but I could I could definitely, I think all of us really could probably really get used to the idea of having that many tags in our stash, huh? I think that's a brilliant idea, having that many tags, because at that point... You know, if you're not quite a junk journaler yet, or you are a junk journaler, you know, just having those extra pieces on hand would be awesome. Because it is, I mean, I, I don't think, I have not made it a secret. One of my goals is to have a lot of ephemera to where I could just create a bunch of journals all in one setting. I mean, that that is one of my goals. And I've started a little bit. Which is some different things, but I'm never going to be 
completely caught up, right? Oh my goodness, this is so pretty. Well done, Lorna. I really like this kit. And I think you guys will like how we're going to use it in a February po uh, project. Oh. I will say I'm a bit out of practice. Sorry, guys. <laughs> and I am way far behind on comments again. So, yep, that's just a product of crazy busy life um, outside of the YouTube recording and Etsy store. Um, and I like to answer every comment. Um, though, I think at least for a little bit right now, I'm going to have to go with just, um, giving, I don't want to say short answers, but yeah, something similar. Okay. So then I was considering maybe putting a little pocket here. And then I was thinking that either a tag or one of these long cards would fit in there. So we'd need to, I think, make a pocket for that, which we could do that. We totally could. So I think while I'm here, um, I'm going to go ahead and open that up. And then I made these little notepads to go in here because I thought they would be cute. So yeah, I think I'll just get these set in my little things, get a couple little pockets put on, and then we'll worry about the tags here in just a little bit. Then it's just a little flippy pad just to add a little bit of journaling space. I don't know, I, that came to me while I was sitting in one of my meetings. I was like, hmm, I could totally make a flippy spot for that one. Okay, now let's see if we can figure out a quick pocket for there. Um, I don't know. All right, maybe we'll come back to that. Yeah, we'll probably come back to that. Okay, so, okay, still closing well. Let's get this other one rocking and rolling. I think I'm going to put similar on the cover. Although I might do a little bit different color flower. And I might go ahead and get rid of the fuzzy on it. It's going to have to be a little bit lighter because I'm just about out of these flowers too. I like that. I think the only thing I don't like about these flowers sometimes is the <clears throat> how hard the center is, like how far it sticks up. But other than that, I like them. The quicker I can stop using the hot glue, the better, right? Yeah, I think at some point I'm going to have to get a better glue gun. It's one of those things that it, I don't use it enough anymore that it's like out of sight, out of mind. So if I'm not constantly using it, I'm never going to remember to order one. Um, so yeah, there's that. <laughs> And, you know, what's weird is I have this whole pad of paper 
stuff going on over here and but would you think that I would remember to write stuff like that down mm -mm. not usually oh so back to the 4-h stuff so anyways so they had to pick you know you had to apply for both because they're being actually ran by two different entities now which is kind of how other states and other counties are doing it these days um I had never heard of it but um um I went ahead and did some research on it and sure enough I mean other counties and other states are doing that um and it as you would surmise it's more it's more because of um political type stuff and I don't mean that like in a bad way I just mean like when You know, when you have bad leaders in, in place, it's really hard to get rid of them. It seems right. Like, um, trying to make this politically correct. So basically by doing the two different entities, it stops, um, career leaders, I guess. Um, so that it'll, um, the projects don't get monopolized and like the same people aren't winning year after year. Um, without having earned it if that makes any sense um I can't really because I it's like with anything um those kids or not the kids it's basically the parents and some of the adults they you know they don't play fair um which is really sad um because it's a it's a child program and it's a good one and it teaches in my opinion it teaches um, good animal steward stewardness. Um, it teaches kids about the realities of animals. Um, and I just think it's really sad that sometimes it's not, the whole thing isn't being honored the way it should be. That's, I think that's about as politically correct as I can be. Um, so yeah, that said, that's, that's what they're trying to trying to stop is that you know the same same bad leaders aren't in control of these projects um for some of them i think some people over there have been been doing it for 30 40 years and i'm not saying the longer they do it the worse they get or anything like that that's not what i'm saying either but i think they're trying to um make sure that that's not happening i don't think that that necessarily happens in our county per se but you know what i'm talking about we all have that one person in our activities that doesn't always have everybody's best interest at heart. Um, so I think that 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 is that's what they're doing is trying to make it a little bit more fair. Um, and it's not I can honestly say it's not as bad in our county as it used to be. Um, like when I was a kid, oh my goodness. There was never going to be a way that I was ever going to win anything, ever. Um, and I didn't, really, um, irregardless of, like, my effort. And I know it's not all about winning, and that's not what I'm saying either, but there was never going to be a point in time where my good project was ever going to measure up to somebody else's. And so I will say our counties went through and kind of cleaned house on that kind of thing, and I, I'm glad to see it because... You know, it shouldn't matter if kid A um, has a lot of financial means, um, but kid B doesn't have that financial um, means but has a better project. It doesn't mean kid A should automatically get the win, right? Um, so I will say that is, I do like that about our county now, is that it, it seems like it's a more equal opportunity county so that's good it's made leaps and bounds that way I mean and I don't like to be negative about things but that's just one of those things that I think at some point in our lives we've experienced people who who don't always have everybody's best interest at heart or think rules don't apply to them when they actually do so, yeah, um, that was my little soapbox for today, apparently. 
Um, so how about I get off my soapbox and we just like have fun and create. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't even know if we're actually really going to get it all done in one video. It might end up being a couple, a couple more kind of thinking maybe now I should have probably done a little bit more prep, but ah, well, I love hanging with you guys. So So what is everybody up to? It seems like every like everything seems to be mellowing out and um, I think we might start getting some of these restrictions lifted, it sounds like. So that'll be good. That'll start putting some people's minds at ease, I think. So I'm hoping that would be good. Okay, we're going to sneak that one right there. And I think, you know what, I think I have um, a stamp that says Happy Valentine's Day, I think. I think so. And if I do, one of the things I was thinking was we could put, um, oh, I forgot to glue its middle piece in. Um, I was thinking kind of like a little ribbon right here that just says happy Valentine's Day, like with um, one of our little paper punches. Maybe that'll be our, like our finale because I think, I don't think that we'll get, I think we'll get just today, get these kind of decorated this way. And then I think um, the next video will have to be just like the finish up. And I'll have to see how we're doing on time um, for because we still got tags to make and all kinds of stuff to put in there, right? Okay, that is two with pockets in. Let's see. And if you remember, these are Amy's new digital. And I don't think I'm going to put a flower on this side. We may, we may do something there, but we were going to put a little card there. A pocket. Probably should have cut it out to begin with, but well, it looks like I might have. All right. Yep, there it is. Look at that. I already cut it, cut it out and inked it. So I'm gonna put that little one there. But I don't know, I don't know if I like that there now. Let's see. Let's see what else we got going on in this kit. I think in that heart there might be a cute little tuck. We'll end up using what's in this what's that lady there. Let's do this one as a pocket. Let's cut that out really quick. And we'll put like a tiny tag in it. How about that? OK, 
Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and take this pocket, we're gonna use it on the inside. I think I said it at the beginning, but if I didn't, I hope you guys are all doing well. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm getting kind of excited because I do, I do like um, Valentine's Day. Not in the essence of um, Paul and I do a whole lot for each other on Valentine's Day. It's just like the spirit, I guess. super cute, isn't it? Yeah, I kind of like that. Okay. super cute. So I finally know, it, and I'm going to go ahead and cut these flaps off. Um, I don't really want to use that as the side. I'm like, I'm going to use it as a side tuck, but I'm decided not to use the flaps on it. Um, I'm going to do a flat tag. Um, finally know what the next journal journal is going to be. Um, and I'm going to be using Poppiness is um, stuff. That one is going to be kind of a cheeky little Valentine's Day one. Okay. Yep, we're liking that. Okay, and let's put our little middle thing in here, and then I'm gonna pause the camera for a minute um, to see how much time we have, and then I'll determine like how much longer we can go. Um, for those of you that are new, I try to keep my videos around 30 minutes. Um, if not, it usually takes hours to upload. Um, oops, sorry about that. And when I say hours, I mean like six hours, I think. It took me a couple weeks ago to load like a 48-minute video. It was some kind of ridiculousness. Okay. Folds up. Folds down. Let's wrap it up. And I will be right back, guys. Okay. Okay, guys. Um... I put you on pause for a little bit, but I think we'll just kind of finish out a couple of these tags. And then I think we're going to call them good. Um, so I just, I just got a couple of little pieces here and um, I did kind of do a few. Did I, I was just looking over there to see if I actually unplugged my um, hot glue gun. Um, so yeah. I don't know if these will actually fit in there or not. We're just going to see once we get them done. I'm going to put a little bit of lace up here, probably because um, I kind of want to keep these simple. Oh, 
Oh, and I was going to, I thought I had maybe a ribbon. That might look really cute with these. darker one and these are just like the dollar store organza ribbons so yeah it's like kind of weird we like I'm home alone again tonight Grace went to the gym um and then she went and picked up a friend and took her home and then she's just gonna stay the stay for dinner so, and Bo's working late tonight, so yeah. And I just looked at the time. No wonder I'm kind of hungry. It's like 6.30, getting close to a quarter to seven. So I think this video is gonna end up turning more into an hour, I know. Um, but I'm just thinking that I would really like to get these finished up tonight. And then, yeah, then I'll have only missed a day. And I have some other pockets that I saw the last few days. Um, and I've managed to watch a couple little videos. So, yeah. And this one I'm going to have to trim off the... Because I don't have any smaller white or white um, doilies, I don't think. The ones in my bin are definitely... Um, like the same size. Let me see. I finally found my uh, my uh, bin that I have for um, uh, Valentine's Day. It's like really small, but yeah. I was hoping too to maybe find some heart shaped doilies that were smaller, but. I haven't ran across those yet either. And that's all right. I'm thinking maybe we'll just make this a little more interesting. For some reason, it feels like there might be two there. Maybe. Just do that and put her right here. Yep, that's what I'm going to do. I said for some reason this one seems like it's a little bit thick, but maybe not. I don't know, it just seems really thick. <laughs> I can't seem to get it apart, so we're just gonna glue like there's only one. So um, those of you that are married, do you spend Valentine's Day with your sweetheart? Um, normally. I think this is probably the first Valentine's Day in years that Paul and I have actually, like, like he'll actually be home off the road um, for Valentine's Day. Um, I'm not sure that we're really going to do anything because we don't, we don't really celebrate um valentine's day like that um it's a cute holiday but we, yeah like i said we don't really we don't really do much um like i think when we were dating we did more right because it was that cute little um first together thing um but yeah i think yeah i like that i think i'm gonna use that darker ribbon too for this one as well um but at any rate um yeah the our very no i guess it wouldn't have been our first one our very first valentine's day um we were both still um i was living with my grandma and um because i was over 18 at that point and i was going was that our first valentine's i'm trying to think back That was like 26 years ago, guys. Sorry. I'm like trying to think back to our very first Valentine's Day. Um, 
Oh boy. Um, I can tell you about a couple other ones, like, um, cause we started, I mean, we were broke as broke can be one year. And so it might've been our first year. Yeah. We went, um, for like three years in a row, we did a candlelight Taco Bell dinner because we were both broke. And like I said, we don't celebrate like, you know, like jewelry and whatever. We don't, that's not really us. Um, we did, however, do like, like I said, like Taco Bell because it was cheap. I mean, back, back then you could get, I don't know, a uh, couple of tacos and a couple of burritos for like six bucks. I mean, and that was like, you got a lot of food for that. Cause I think their tacos used to be like 49 cents or something. And then on certain nights it was like 29 cents and that's like unheard of now, but, um, yeah. All right, so let's put these in and I think I'm just going to ink these cutie pies and maybe put um, some of the lace up there because I'm almost certain oh, they don't fit. Darn it. It's okay. It's okay. I was kind of worried about that. I probably should have measured that first. I think that one's going to be too too big. Yep, that's fine because we're gonna we're doing other projects. So we'll just save those and then I guess I'm just gonna ink and probably put some of the um, ribbon on top of that. Because this one will definitely fit in that front little pocket. Okay, so I know I have a couple of these little pieces so maybe we'll it's still a little too big, huh? Ooh. These are, um, I don't think she has these in her shop anymore, but um, I got these from Emily and she just recently changed your name and I'm sorry, Em, I don't, it's Junk Journal Inspirations, I believe. But when you see her in the description box um, of like my really old videos, it'll still take you to the same shop. Yeah, I got these a while ago, probably like October, I would guess. So there's that one. So I think that one, yeah, that one's still too tall. So we'll just add this little one here and we'll call it good. We might add that other little card that we got that I already inked that I was going to use as a pocket since it's already inked. And one of the other reasons I think I went ahead, I did decide to go ahead and put a flower on the front of this one to gussy it up a little bit. This one I think I'm gonna do the pale pink. I'm gonna go ahead and just do this. And I might need to come down a little bit on that, on the edges there. Okay, and that slips right in there. Let's see, this one. Let's slip back there. So there's just a little bit more in that pocket. Okay. Oh, gosh darn it, I was kind of worried about that. Okay, um, well. Okay, if it's off centered, it closes. Okay. I have learned so much by using these magnets, not gonna lie, like what they'll what they'll do and what they won't do. Okay, so let's um I am going to do similar to what I did before and hopefully. Yep, it's still warm. Okay, so same kind of concept here. I know we just did a bunch of that, but went ahead and decided to do it this way, only I'm gonna use a little bit different color. I'm gonna do cream, cream on cream. Okay. 
And I've got some of like the Tim Holtz flower maker stuff and I just need to watch a few videos and make some. I think they would be fun. Yep. Kind of like that. It gives it just a little bit of sparkle, right? Okay. And I have boxed myself in again with stuff that needs to be put away. One fine day, I would love to just be completely organized. I mean, that would be fabulous. And this time, I'm not actually going to add the um, floof, the eyelet whatever the heck it's called. Um, okay, there we go. And I think we'll just call that one done. Yep, I like that. The most I would probably do is maybe add a word or something, but I think, I think it's done. I like it just the way it is. Yep, super cute, super cute. Okay, so that one's done. Let's see, where do we put the done stuff now? I guess. Okay. So and then this one, oh, we need to make our tags. That's right. Okay. So I have already inked these. So I guess we could put one in each of them. No. Oh, and I think we have a visitor guys. So put that one there. By visitor, I mean a little kitten who can't help herself with not being obnoxious. Okay. And then we're going to make a couple of tags and we're going to take um, Lorna's um, things and just kind of um, build up on it. Oh, those dogs. Do you hear them? Sorry if you can. They're outside and it, they are wrestling. stinkers. Anyways, um, we're going to do like a layered tag with these um, things here. So they're very similar to the ones we just made, but just a little bit different. And these um, came out of Lorna's kits. Um, so yeah, I kind of just want to background a couple of things. I think I'm going to use a pink doily, which I don't know where I placed them now. There they are. It never fails, does it? Yep, like that. I start start a, a video, or I am f currently filming, and the animals go nuts. Sounds like they're really tearing something up. I might have to pause this. Boy, I am like racking up the points for glitter. <laughs> or not glitter, but glue all over my fingers. I was going to say art glitter glue and then my brain buffered there for a minute. I'll layer this one on this one. Oh my gosh, what 
what are they doing? Do you hear it? I hope you don't. It's like they're running across the edge of the house and like dragging each other across it. <sighs> Silly dogs. So much for mom getting some quiet time, huh? Uh, being able to record a video. Yeah, that's great, huh? All right, so what if we took one of these and made... I was wondering if maybe it might be too white on white. Let's see. Because I don't want to cover up that rose there. what we get here. I'd have to do a little bit of fancy footwork when it comes to the glue. Oh, that was great. Okay, um, like that, but I think I want a little bit darker. I think they call this organza or agar organza something. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not even going to pretend to be able to pronounce it correctly. Um, but it's that sheer uh, ribbon. And if you keep your eye out at the dollar store, you can obviously pick it up for a dollar. And I usually get quite a few little projects out of it. pause the video. I apologize guys for yet another interruption, but hold on. All right. Those stinkers. Oh. Okay. So we're going to do the same thing here. Only this one is a repair tag. Um, it's a little bit different. It gives a little bit different look when you're, um, doing them together. And these again are tags that come in Lorna's kit as were those other ones that I um, was using a second ago um, with Amy's kit. brown behind there and we'll have to trim off a few little bits there. Apparently it's witching hour with the animals because now we have cats crying.
kind of blends in there, huh? I'm gonna have to clean my mat too. I Since I got this mat, I tell you what, I do like the way it cleans up too. Um, I am a fan. I do like this mat. Okay. All right, last one, guys. Um, so if you've hung with me this far, I appreciate it. Hope it wasn't too boring for you guys. Um, oh, I don't need that. And I think this one, I may use the pink doily. just might just have to see how it looks behind there right because not white for sure but pink be too much nope I like it I got an ink around, oh, ink around. Excuse me, ink around those edges real quick to kind of blend it down, but. Oh, I guess I should give you guys an update too. Um, I've been doing that um, uh, trigger point therapy. And oh my goodness, I'm not going to lie. I am loving every bit of it. I have such good range of motion in my neck right now. Um, and it's lasting. Like the deeper she's able to go into my neck muscles... Um, of course it's painful. I mean, I'm not going to lie to you. It's, it's not, it's not pleasant. Um, but the deeper and deeper she gets, the less and less pain I'm having. So yeah, I, I love it. Um, I'm definitely a fan of that trigger point therapy. So if you have a massage therapist in your area that offers the trigger point, um, like I said, I'm not going to lie. It, it doesn't feel great. Um, however, the results are out of this world. I, I definitely, I am definitely enjoying life more. Um, my arms aren't going numb as much. Um, the fire symptoms, so to speak, um, at least that's what I call it, um, is less. And the duration of, of the um, symptoms for that, or, you know, the, I guess the products of that are less. Um, so yeah, definitely, definitely suggest doing that. Okay, so I'll put one here. Oh, and I did, okay, good. Whew. I was like, oh my gosh, I didn't even think about it being maybe too tall, but it's not. So we'll stick one there. Okay, so that one is complete. And I, gosh darn it, Dee Dee, what are you doing? Okay, so that still sticks, but I'm not crazy about... Okay. All right. It still sticks. I will get used to these magnets. Maybe this summer we will take a, a giant trip down um, magnet lane um, so that I can really learn the ins and outs of the magnets and where to place them and whatnot. Somebody did suggest, yep. Okay. It still closes. Okay. Somebody did suggest putting um, some 
like less layers and then maybe putting them at the top and the bottom. Um, all things we will definitely play with because um, I have an idea for these type of envelopes again already. Um, so yeah. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and call this a video. I know it's closer to an hour and I try to keep them down a little bit, but I just wanted to get finished with this particular project and then we are going to start on another one. All right, guys, I will talk to you soon. Bye.